Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces September 6, 2022. It can feel good to take a step back and think about or analyze your feelings today. Relationship matters you might discuss now tend to be light and airy. It's not a great time to go deep, but it's suitable for observing and analyzing. With a new moon occurring tomorrow, it's better to unwind and tie up loose ends than push something forward. Still, it's an excellent time to dream up new ideas and turn on to different interests. Be patient about putting exciting new plans into action. Fresh approaches to relating are in order. You're expressing yourself more freely and playfully, and this may very well open up a door of opportunity. Some areas of your life need some room and space for exploration breaking free from some of the rules or expectations helps improve them. This is particularly evident with hobbies, leisure, children, love, romance, and partnership. Whether you're single or already committed to your special someone, chances are you're making the conscious decision to prioritize your individual freedom at this time. Although, despite the sun's close proximity to rebellious Uranus via your committed seventh house of agreements, compromise, and significant others which is precisely what is pushing you towards embracing your autonomy, having both Mars Venus dazzling your third house of communication is working in your favor. You're not only more expressive with your seductive charm but also incredibly attractive in your local community. In the meantime, you may want to check your DMs and LinkedIn alerts. Something's brewing. While the moon was in Libra over the last few days, you may have been surprised with how authoritative you have been in a conversation or your work groups. But the moon leaves Libra for Sagittarius today, indicating a shift in your perception of your private life. Unique Luna implies that you may not so secretly want to live an unconventional lifestyle or in an atypical setting. However, attaining a custom lifestyle can be difficult and may require a bit of work. You may need to consider innovative means to make money to sustain your desired livelihood. The last five days have seen the moon spread some positive energy on both sides of the financial fence. It was over the weekend that the moon's monthly visit to your income sector created some positive energy on the income and job fronts before going on to form a friendly aspect to planets on the financial front over the last few days. As the moon moves on, this leaves you with a better sense of your needs and priorities on both sides of the financial fence. You're feeling really antsy, but in a good way. Try to look around your home and see what needs doing. After that's out of the way, call a smart friend and gab about your future plans. You don't shy away from the spotlight, and you are nearly always there to take the blame if something goes wrong. You don't need a wider berth, you already enjoy great freedom, even the limelight. If your usual exercise program entails a predictable routine, try incorporating something different like running by the ocean or downloading a fitness app. Use your voice. Singing out loud in the car or the shower is a good aerobic release. Your demeanor shouldn't bottle up your kundalini energies they cry to be released. With spring in the air and the essence of this day all around, you may find your interests turning towards romance. This can be especially so if you have been interested in a special someone whom you want to get to know better. Taking the initiative isn't usually challenging for you, but with the added power of this day in the air, there won't be much that stands in your way. Take the bull by the horns and make the plans that you have been dreaming about. While the moon is at odds with a stunning coming together of planetary activity on the career and job fronts today, from its position in your home and family sector it is helping to monitor your work and life balance. As Mercury spends his last weekend in your career sector his third friendly aspect to Pluto in your work sector this year is putting things into perspective on both fronts. At the same time, Venus alignment with Uranus is inspiring your professional confidence and a chance to imagine what's possible. A clash between the Moon and Venus, the planet of love is putting your work and life balance to the test today and the timing couldn't be better. While work and life balance reminders are always easier to heed over the weekend it comes just a day before the moon is not only due to return to your romantic sector but to begin the lead up to a romantically moon. Our eyes in the sky. 
This morning's first quarter moon in Sagittarius means we might find it difficult to organize our thoughts, and articulating emotions could be next to impossible. This aspect can cause a lot of frustration because we want to connect with others but find it challenging. Misunderstandings are likely to manifest. Try to postpone any important conversations until after this energy clears. If you're unable to avoid interacting with others, think carefully about what you want to convey before speaking. Once the moon moves farther into Sagittarius, you might become a bit impatient, but remaining calm will pay off. A minor aspect between the Sun and Pluto can be helpful in overcoming any conversational hurdles, but only if you take the time to consider your words before sharing them. This aspect might also come to the rescue if your mind is a bit scattered. Through structure, time constraints and focusing on your responsibilities, you can muscle through any mental fog. Create a to-do list to help you stay on task, and apologize to anyone you have a less than pleasant encounter with. By sharing our feelings through music or writing, our ideas remain open to interpretation. Others can then connect with us emotionally by bearing witness instead of sharing a reciprocal dialogue. In the evening, the moon sextals Uranus in Taurus, stimulating surprises. Too much weight today has been placed on trying to rationalize our circumstances. At this time, something happens to shock us out of this expectation. We realize that we have been taking things too seriously, that life is baffling, and that we should enjoy the ride. In the pre-dawn hours, the Sagittarius moon sextals Saturn in Aquarius, offering patience. Many of us will be asleep at this hour, and our dreams may feature Saturnian characters, perhaps family members or authority figures, who offer us advice. Transmissions will feel so natural that we might fail to remember the details of our dreams upon waking. It is a good idea to keep a journal handy to record recollections. They can prove meaningful as we go about our day. The cosmic energy is very dense, which is why it would be best to rest and retreat instead of try to connect with people. Watch a movie and take a nap instead of falling down the rabbit hole of paranoia. After sunup, the moon squares off with Neptune in Pisces, prompting confusion. Two dreamy, emotional bodies meeting in the zodiac's two most idealistic signs, what could possibly go wrong? The risk here is that we read too much into situations, becoming overly sensitive and moody. Misunderstandings lead to disappointment. A desire to believe in someone or something despite good reason to maintain our boundaries can make us vulnerable to deceit. Avoid consulting divination practices, as these will not provide the clarity we seek. 